So this past week I just filmed a what I eat in a week because I love watching these videos. I find them super helpful when I just like get in ruts of like what to make. So hopefully it inspires you guys. That being said, this video was a lot harder to film than I expected just because you do have to like remember to film everything you eat. So I don't know how often I'll be filming these, but that being said, I hope you guys enjoy it nonetheless. But it is quite long, so we're just gonna get right on into it. Starting off with Tuesday morning, I had two whole wheat waffles. They're like these extra whole grain ones that I love. And then this is some crunchy almond butter from Trader Joe's. And then on top of that, I sprinkle on some blueberries. I'll usually just do like whatever fruit I have on hand, but um, sometimes I'll do maple syrup too as well. And then you can see in the corner there, I also had a Synergy Trilogy kombucha. For lunch, I had Trader Joe's Mediterranean hummus and chips. And this is because I have class at 1 until 4 on this day, so I usually like I'm not super hungry enough to eat lunch by the time class starts, so I'll like basically eat lunch. But anyway, so that's what I ate, and then when I got home from class, I had some tea and ginger snaps. These are from Trader Joe's. And then for dinner, I made quite possibly the easiest thing ever, which is Trader Joe's vegetable fried rice. It's just okay. It's not bad. It's okay. Wednesday morning, I started off with some oatmeal, and then I just topped it off with brown sugar and bananas and pumpkin seeds, which I bought a large container of and I've just been kind of throwing on everything, which is really just tasty. They're, they're so crunchy and like, they just add a nice flavor to kind of whatever. So that is what I ate. That's a very classic breakfast for me. I woke up pretty late on that day, so I ended up not really having lunch and just going straight to dinner because I went to the grocery store and bought a ton of things to make for dinner. So I bought some vegetables to make a curry with. Here you can see me prepping all the vegetables. I usually like to chop them all up first and then put them in a big bowl so that way I can just kind of throw them all in the pan at the same time. This was actually the second time I've made this curry recipe. I just changed it up a little bit, used different vegetables, and it seriously was like the best I've ever had. So I'll definitely write it below and like the things that I changed about it, but it's also just super easy. You really just put it in a pan, cook it for a while, and uh, you're good to go. I also use this really good curry powder from Penzi's, which my mom loves that brand and she got it for me. So I will also link that below because it was not in the recipe. And then I probably ate about twice twice the size of that serving because it was so good and I was pretty hungry and I just had it with basmati rice. And then I had some vegan Ben and Jerry's fudge brownie ice cream, which is dangerously good. Thursday morning I wanted some avocado toast, but while my toast was toasting, I ate a banana because sometimes I do that when I can't wait, I just start eating. And then on top of the avocado toast, I put some red pepper flakes and arugula, which is my favorite combination for avocado toast. Also the bread I used is the whole grain loaf from Trader Joe's and I slice it myself and keep it in the freezer so I can have it for a longer amount of time. For lunch on Thursday, I had more of my curry because as you can tell, it made quite a lot. And so I had that serving and then I probably ended up eating more as well. And I actually topped it with some arugula after I microwaved it, which was a great decision. Very good. Would have been also good with spinach. Then once I was in class, I got a mocha from Starbucks with almond milk because thankfully their mocha recipe is vegan. So that was good. Then once I got home, I wanted to make something quick and kind of comforting because I was stressed out and I had all those carrots left over from my curry. So I cut one up and put it in boiling water with this protein plus pasta which is my favorite and if you just boil them together then you end up with boiled carrots along with your pasta which is something that I would eat as a child but it's pretty good and then on top I put some pasta sprinkle from Penzi's which is just kind of like an Italian seasoning mix along with some olive oil just so it's not super boring and then after that Kira and I had some ice cream this is her eating her coconut bliss Oreo cookie one but I had more of the Ben and Jerry's and then on Friday morning, I had some oatmeal with the same things that I put on it before, but this time I also added blueberries and some chia seeds. So that is a little, little tiny bit more interesting, but overall I usually just like to combine some like sweet flavors with maybe something crunchy. For lunch, I had leftover noodles from the night before because I ended up with about half of that left. And then for dinner, I had leftover curry with arugula, and so I'm using the same clips from before because that's the best part about leftovers. 
Saturday morning, I woke up early and went to Pilates, and then afterward, I met up with my mom for brunch. We had double poached eggs on toast with a vegan coffee cake to share and a chai latte with coconut milk, which was pretty good. I honestly didn't even notice that it wasn't almond milk, which is what I usually order. Once I got home, I was pretty much filming all day, so I just had a snack of a fruit bowl with chia granola, but this was after I'd eaten some, so there was more in the bowl previously, but that's what I was eating, and yes, I eat it dry because I don't really like almond milk. Halfway through filming, I had some Mediterranean hummus with chips, which as you can tell is my usual go-to replacement for lunch if I don't have enough time to make lunch because it is filling and hummus has chickpeas, so it has protein in it, and it's just like... It's just so good, I love that hummus. For dinner, I was determined to try out a new recipe, so I was making some lentil soup, which I thought was pretty good. Lentil soup is one of my favorite foods, um, but I have never made a soup before, so that is just something I wanted to try out. If anything, it was just a little bland. I ended up serving it with red pepper flakes every time I ate it. After that, Kira and I made some vegan chocolate chip cookies, which are the best ones I've ever tried. The recipe has coconut milk in it and coconut oil and brown sugar, and it is literally delicious. Just look how like beautiful and normal that cookie dough looks. I like probably one of the best chocolate chip cookies I've had like vegan or not. And then for dinner I had like two bowls of the soup I made obviously because I made it and definitely like two or three cookies. Sunday all my roommates were up at the same time so we made brunch together and we had avocado on toast with a fried egg and arugula and this time we used sourdough toast instead of the wheat one from before and we also grilled up some hash browns because sundays are a day for hash browns for lunch i had more of my soup with some sourdough toast again and that was delicious i must add for dinner we went to this vegan restaurant called seabird's kitchen and i caught these purple potato taquitos and a fried avocado taco and it was genuinely delicious so that is everything i ate this week i hope you guys enjoyed it please be sure to let me know what you thought below i also definitely accidentally left out some things as you could tell I tend to eat snacks here and there and things like that that it was kind of hard to keep track of But for the most part, I'd say it's pretty accurate. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye guys